Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from EDX 2023, which is the Egyptian Defense Expo at Cairo. We are here at the stall of Naval Group, and we have with us Yonik Fihe, who heads the marketing for the region here for Naval Group. The region here is Egypt and Africa. Uh, Yonik, welcome to ADU's chat room. Great to have you here with us. Thank you very much. Please let me introduce myself. I'm Yohan Ekfier I'm and I'm a former uh, French frigate commanding officer in the French Navy and now marketing director for surface ships in Naval Group, the French company uh, building both uh, submarines and, uh, and surface ships. Uh, we are very proud to be here in, in EDEX in Egypt because we have tied up a very strong uh, long-term partnership with the Egyptian Navy. Um, basically, uh, we have provided uh, up to seven uh, warships, uh, state-of-the-art warships, to the Egyptian Navy in the last uh, ten years. One French frigate, one of those I've been commanding officer of in the French Navy, two LHD, uh, landing helicopter dock, um, and uh, also uh, the, the, the path that we are most proud of is the providing of uh, four uh, Gowin Corvettes that you have one of these here as a mock-up. The singularity of these Gowin Corvettes, besides uh, her tremendous capabilities, is uh, the, the fact that uh, the first one was produced in France in uh, Naval Group ship shipyards and that the three follow-on ships were fully built here in Alexandria uh, in, the, in the Alexandria shipyard uh, for in-country uh, building uh, in, in Egypt. And this is the core part of our partnership with, uh, with the Egyptian Navy. We are developing and modernizing the, the, sur the surface for forces of the Egyptian Navy. And at the same time, we are developing the self-reliance capabilities of the Egyptian Navy, both for um, building state-of-the-art warships in country and also uh, with a transfer of technology allow allowing the Egyptian Navy to uh, maintain uh, for, long, uh, for the long term uh, all these uh, French uh, pr provided warships. And uh, you know when you're talking of uh, manufacturing in the customer country does it also mean a training program for the people there? Because you have your own standards. Naval Group has its own standards. It's got its own systems. So how, how do you manage that with the local uh, shipyard? Uh, regarding the very production of the, of the warship, uh, during the production of the first of class, for example, in France, there was on-job training so as to train the Egyptian teams so that they could take in charge the local production in country of the following ships. So we are developing these uh, training activities for the construction uh, and building of, of the warships. But besides of that, we also have a comprehensive offer of education and training regarding the, the conduct and the maintenance of uh, complex warships, uh, regarding all the aspects uh, with uh, regarding combat systems and operating the combat system and regarding the conduct of the platform and the maintenance of the whole warship, uh, both combat system and platform. And what happens once you've handed over the ship to the customer? So what, what is the maintenance plan? What is the plan which you have? Does it go back for its checks to France or do you do it locally? Um, during this transfer of technology and this transfer of know-how, we have transmitted our experience of how to build up a coherent uh, maintenance plan and we have transferred this know-how to the Egyptian Navy that now is fully autonomous uh, regarding the maintenance of the surface ships and uh, we still provide technical assist assistance in addition so as to help the Egyptian Navy to, be, to become more and more self-reliant. Okay, and uh, how many ships made by Naval Group are there in uh, the Egyptian Navy at the moment? There are there are seven uh, warships, uh, as I told you, one frame, two LHD, yeah. and uh, four four going corvettes. Mm. We have some images just uh, just besides if you if you want to to. to uh, and what is what is the backlog order you have? 
backlog order some some are being already made constructed on order is there an order a follow on order something like that uh, at present time there is not uh, there is no follow on order hmm. but of course we we propose the frigate you you have beside you as a, fo a possible follow on ship right. uh, at the present moment we are focused on the uh, the, the, the in service support of these uh, fleets of seven ships uh, provided by France and another group. And uh, when you are making for Egypt, is there a supply chain existing in Egypt also for your products? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, thanks to the local production, uh, we have also developed uh, as much as possible local supply chain to, to, to implicate as much as possible the, the Egyptian economy in the in the whole ecosystem for the building of the ship but also for the long-term maintenance so thank you so much Renek. it was lovely speaking with you and you know when we meet next I'm sure you will have more news to give us and tell us that this show has been successful and you've got more orders it'll be wonderful thank you so much for being a part of us you are very welcome it was a